Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. Let's jump in and do a read. So this is going to be for the second two weeks of January. So let's see what is in store for you and uh, what wants to come out. Now we've got that full moon on the 17th, all right? Uh, that's in Cancer and how it's going to affect you, Taurus, is that you are juggling a lot of things right now is what I feel here. I think that there's a, a you know, this is really talking about not overing, uh, not overdoing things. All right. So I, keep that in mind because for you, this is what's coming through. All right. Um, especially during that full moon, uh, the wolf moon. All right. So uh, you might be experiencing that right now, or you might be, uh, you know, again, it might be coming into play, but it's like your calendar is full. You've got a lot of things that are kind of going, you know, here or there, but this is saying get, you know, don't overexert yourself is going to be the key thing. Okay. So, so, so maintain your balance. All right. That's going to be key. Uh, I am going to pull a specific card. We'll start with you and then we'll go for you and this other person. Uh, we're going to do a little bit differently here. What I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to uh, pull a card a moon card for you specifically on what you need to focus in on so what is going to be your moon mantra that you need to be aware of uh, with this full moon all right or just you know during the second half of the uh, month uh, this is something for you to be aware of in terms of your love life all right so when you are putting your intentions out there and different things like that this is going to be key but the full moon is is really about uh, you know setting your your foundations and, and being thankful for the wins that you've received uh, what do you need to concentrate on most that wants to come through for Taurus? What is it for you? Let's take a look. What do we have? Uh, I am magnetic to what I want and I repel what I do not want, right? So here we go. And that is truer than true, right guys? So it's, it, it all, it's all about being in the vibe of what you want. And, uh, and when you are that way, you automatically repel what you don't want. So this is a reminder for some of you and, uh, for uh, love, because love starts with you, a self love card that's going to help ignite your love life. What's coming out for Taurus and what does Taurus need to be aware of, uh, to keep in mind for the second half of the month regarding your love life. All right, let's take a look at what that is for you here. Oh my gosh, Taurus, this is so beautiful. We're going to do this together right now. Okay. So what I want you to do, all right, is take a moment and work with me here, all right? I want you to close your eyes. I want you to place your hand on your cheek. And I want you to say, you are so loved, all right? That's what this card wants to let you know, okay? So close your eyes, place your hands on your cheeks, and say, I am so loved. Put it in the comments below, guys. Put that in the comments. Let me know that you've done that. I need to know that you've got it in your vibration, right? We attract what we want. When we love ourselves, we attract more love coming in, okay? The good love, right? So this is key, all right? So good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into your read, and let's take a look at what's going for you, okay? So where are you at right now, Taurus? Let's take a look at where you're at right now. Uh, what is going on for Taurus? And keep in mind that this is for those of you that are singled, uh, you know, for those of you that are attached, those of you that are maybe are not in a relationship. It could be one side of a situation or another. Maybe it's going to be the person you meet. Okay. So I want you to keep that in mind. Maybe you're just dating. All right. So there's going to be elements on, I'll focus you on one side, the other person on the other, you know, choose which side most resonates with you, but I'm going to be focusing on you over here. All right. So what's coming out for you, Taurus? What do we have? Four of swords. Oh, wow. Okay. Four of swords. What else? Give me one more card here. What do we have here? Three of cups. Ooh, beautiful energy. So the four of swords talks about you've had some sort of rest that you need to take as it pertains to love right now. Okay. So it's almost like you're at this uh, point where you've got to say good night, right? You, there, there's some sort of rest that you need to take before you move forward. All right. And, and, and that's what I feel here. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with someone of that sign, or you might have this in your chart. Um, you taking on this energy just really means that you're taking a moment for yourself. Like you're going maybe to the top of the hill, uh, maybe that you're getting out of nature a little bit more. You're kind of, uh, you're letting the energy of mother nature just kind of fuel your soul, right? And, and I think that's really key for any foundation in terms of love. Spending time with yourself and getting the rest that you need is going to be key. So there's some sort of rest that you need. You're recuperating from something, okay? Okay. Uh, whatever that is, you guys know what that is for you here, but there's some sort of recuperation that's taking place here. All right. And it's kind of like you're passive at, at things right now. You know, you're kind of like, ah, uh, you know, whatever, you know, you're just kind of, you're more passive than you typically are, um, is what's coming through here. And then I get the three of cups and the three of cups talks about you 
and getting out in community and friendships, okay? So maybe that you're a little bit more passive in getting out in the community and, and uh, with friendships and things like that. And you are, some of you might could be spending time with friends and resting and, and doing that because that's what's fueling your soul. This is really key because I think that, that uh, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, getting out with friends and, uh, you know, having some sort of friendships and collaborating with your friendships, getting involved in community. This is what you're doing right now. Now this could be, um, yeah, that's what I feel that's coming through with you right now. How interesting. Let's pull a card from uh, this deck over here. I wanna take a look at where you are at right now. Get any more other info in terms of where you're standing and what wants to come through in the cards. Metamorphosis, going through some sort of change, right? There could be a change in a relationship or in a situation, but there is some sort of metamorphosis that is taking place. This could be happening within you internally or externally uh, with you and another person. Uh, maybe your life is going through some sort of shift, all right? Because that's what I'm feeling here. There is a lot of butterflies here. There's a transformation. And it's almost like there's two flamingos that are coming together, seen eye to eye. It's like something needs to change uh, and, and, and before something can achieve some sort of balance, all right? So there is a metamorphosis that is taking place that is going to transform and uplift. And it wants you to have faith in this metamorphosis. It's a 25 card reducing to a sevens. And sevens are all about having faith. So I feel that in love, there is a shift that is taking place in you. It's about having faith in moving forward, but getting the rest that you need. What does numerology have to say for you here? Let's take a look at what that is. Any messages for you? What do we get? Leadership. This is about grounding yourself in your root chakra. So the emotions of the body, sacral chakra color, can all come together, right? So this is about stepping in and taking leadership leadership of your life, leadership in your transformation, you're taking the lead in that. If your body says rest, Taurus rest. If your body says, you know, something needs to change in terms of love, I need to get out, I need to be around friends and, you know, uh, other people around that, then this is what you're doing too to make you feel really whole. But it's all part of this transformation that is happening. And it's about you taking leadership of your love life, taking leadership of your life and how you want it to direct and roll, right? Uh, it's an 81 card. I love it because you're at the tail end of this. So don't think that you're just starting. This is like at the very, at the tail end of it. It's coming to fruition already. Okay. Um, what do the uh, love um, oracles have to say here for you here? Uh, let's take a look. In fact, um, before I do that, I want to move on to this other person. So we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this in a minute. I want to take a look at this other person on the other side. Let's take a look at them over here. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? Ten of swords. Oh my gosh, could be doing the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, and what do we have? Oh my gosh. I shuffled these all the way through. You're gonna, I, and I've been saying this for the last two months, at least, uh, probably lo way longer than that. You might be dealing with someone who's an Aquarius, okay? Or an air sign. Let's just put it that way. Um, I get the King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Something happened that happened in their life that came to some sort of end. They've been in their head a little bit, okay, in this. And, and you know, uh, it, it's, it was some sort of loss or defeat on their side. It has to do in the mind. But I kind of feel that in this situation, it's, a mind, it's something in the mind that is struggling and, and getting in the way uh, and leading to some sort of defeat because it's almost like you feel this almost like a spear is going through his mind, right? Now the king is really of authority of one's mind, but there's something that needs to shift in there, okay, as it pertains to love because it's keeping them disappointed in love. There could have been a disappointment or an ending in something in their, uh, in their but it has to do with the mind, all right, is what I feel that's coming through here. So interesting. Let's take a look at um, what uh, what these uh, other cards have to say about this other person here. But I feel there's been some sort of defeat, some sort of ending, whether they got out of a, a situation uh, or uh, they had an ending. But it, it has to do with the way that their mind is thinking, too, in terms of love. Yeah, it's like uh, they're in the head more so. Though they want love, they're in the head a little bit more. And, um, you know, it could be that, you know, again... Rightfully so, the Ten of Swords, something came to an end. So whether that was with you or uh, someone else in their life. But that's what I feel. Uh, anything else that wants to come out for this other person? Any other message from this other deck over here? What do we have? Flying. Wow. 
interested. This person is like something came to an end so they could fly, so they could go towards their dreams, right? And so this is an opportunity for them to move forward. I feel like, like, I feel like, here's what I feel. It's like something came to an end, right? And then, you know, they, it, 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 I don't know, something that had to shift within their mind in order to move forward, right? So this was be the next card. And it's almost like they had their eye on flying now moving forward. So now they're focused on flying high in terms of love and being able to move forward in their life. It's a two card, which is that duality. There could be a way of duality within the mind, but this is actually flying and going towards one's dreams, what, what it is that they want. All right. So moving towards and flying, that's like, like a, it's a horse with wings. So, you know, the horses are about freedom. This person could have experienced some sort of freedom from something in the head or in a relationship. All right. Uh, but it is going towards their dreams. All right. That's what I'm feeling that's happening here. Um, let's take a look at uh, what numerology has to say for this person that wants to come through. What do we have? <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys uh, follow your dreams. It's exactly what I was getting. I was really feeling that what it is that they want. It's about, you know, following what, what is it they want in their life and in love, right? So following, they're following their dreams. It has to do with elevating themselves, I feel. There is an elevation for them to bloom and to move forward. But following their dreams and not giving up on their dreams it's a 13 card that reduces to a four. And what if they follow their dreams, they're going to get grounded. They're, if they follow their dreams, they are going to have a strong foundation. All right. And, uh, you know, this is kind of like the root uh, uh, chakra color, you know, is coming through here. Uh, but it is about expressing, moving forward, following their dreams. Let's take a look now on a little bit. Let's go deeper into the love side on you and into this other person. Let's take a look at uh, any messages on love that want to come out from your side. What do we get uh, moving forward? Ace of Pentacles. Nice. You're manifesting there, Taurus. I see. So you're manifesting something to bloom. Look at this. Uh, and then I get the Four of Pentacles. You're, you're manifesting a brand new foundation. Like this is like being in that manifesting mode, right? Manifesting, manifesting. So um, this is what I love. The, the uh, Ace of Pentacles is a potential opportunity that you can manifest and it can bloom into a wreath of success here, right? And it has to do with love. You know, it's really grounded in a strong foundation. It's a strong foundation that can bring for, this forth. Now the Four of Pentacles talks about, you know, to build a very solid, safe, you know, a secure foundation. You're manifesting a secure foundation in love. This is what I'm getting. And you want this wreath of success. And it's coming because you guys, it's coming through so strongly here. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, Pentacles is your energy. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And the Four of Pentacles is that as well. So I really feel that there is an, an opportunity. Yeah, there's a, a strong opportunity for something to really move forward. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, it's 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 like it's like developing not just security, but you've got a strong foundation. That's long term security. Okay, stability, security. To you could build anything on top of that. I mean, and once you've got that done, it's like then you could really be free to move forward in love. So interesting that that's coming through here. Um, what does uh, um, uh, numerology have to say on this one here? Let's take a look at what that is. What do we have for you here? Communication. Wow. This is communicating what it is that you want. Uh, solar plexus chakra color. Okay. Reduces to a six, which birth is something that which births something new because, it redu you know, six is a pregnant number. So it's creating the birthing something new by the new creation of how you're manifesting things. Wow. Are you in, uh, let's take a look at, um, uh, uh, the, uh, I'm going to take a look at these cards, uh, shadow or light side. Let's just take a look over here on your love side here. What is it for, for um, uh, Taurus? Wow. So maybe that you're creating some sort of change. And it's like, uh, I'm getting here. I pulled two cards on you. I got one shadow side. I got one light side. Uh, and maybe that you left some, maybe that I can't go against my family. And I got sorry for leaving you hanging. So maybe there has been a separation in a relationship or situation of some sort. And maybe someone in the situation can't go against their family. It's what's coming through here. Whether that's you or or whatever, you're going to know what that is. Um, but it's like, um, it, it's kind of like you've had to move forward in some way. What are the, what does the love, uh, one of the love oracles have to say for you here? Interesting, Taurus. Interesting. You're going to know what that is for you. Um, let your friends help you. 
wow, remember we got the Three of Cups at the beginning? You're getting out with friends and community? Well, this is ask for support and, you know, from others. Let your friends help you, okay? And it's saying let your friends help you. Ask for support uh, and accept it from others. So in a situation, this is what's coming through here. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Um, anyway, but that's what's coming through over here, okay? So, yeah, this is about, you know, clearing something out, right? Really letting, uh, asking for what it is that you want and uh, letting others help you. This could be in your love life. So maybe you're getting advice from others that's coming through for you here. Whoa, very interesting, guys. Let's take a look at this other person. So let your friends help you and ask for support from the others. Could be what you're currently doing right now. This other person, any other messages for this other person? I get the Five of Cups. And then I get the Knight of Pentacles. There could be motion moving forward. Um, could have someone that is willing to possibly put in the work or trying to decipher if they could put in the work. Because, um, I mean, you get the Five of Cups. It's This person's just so focused on what it is that they lost and there's some sort of regret about not putting in the work in something. So it could be that this person was uh, kind of thinking about that, going through that and understanding that. And so I feel that there has been some adversity in being able to move forward, right? Uh, he's focused on what didn't work with the flowers that are dying rather than work putting in the work of two people coming together. So this person, uh, there is a knight of pentacles, and, and this is about putting in the work. This is being disappointed, and this is putting in the, the work that's necessary to get that. But this person was focused not on that. They're, they're, they weren't, they were focused on, 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 they weren't putting in the work, period. Okay, I, I feel this person on the side. And I'm sorry, Crosswatcher is coming through, but this is what's this is what's coming into play. It's like feeling uh, uh, in the head, maybe that you've had a lot of things uh, that maybe that you didn't see things previously. Okay, you were you were focused on what wasn't working rather than what could work, and therefore didn't put in the the you know the efficient and routine orientated you know stability for a situation for it to come to fruition. Nights are about motion. Now this could be. Um, you know, this person is feeling bad because they didn't do that. Uh, give me one more card. Yeah, and something came to an end. Death card, Capricorn energy. So that's what I feel that's happening that's coming through here. Okay, guys? Um, yeah. Uh, well, this is Scorpio energy. Sorry, guys. Devil energy is Capricorn, right? I'm just getting confused right now. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, but you know what I'm saying. Bottom line is that something came to an end, okay? So uh, that's what I feel that's happening. Yeah. Hmm. Something is, yeah, something has came to some sort of ending here, and they're disappointed in it. Let's take a look at um, what it is. Um, let's take a look even further in this. Let's take a look at what this card wants to say here. I need to focus on my finances right now. So this person, it could be that you're doing the same thing, but this person is really focused on their work. Bottom line, they're in some shadow energy, but they have to focus on their finances right now. It seems they, at least they have it in the head. That's what they need to do. All right, let's take a look. And maybe that was one of the reasons why they couldn't, you know, didn't put in the work. Okay, maybe they just couldn't do that. Effort. Guys, isn't this crazy? They couldn't put in the work because they're too focused on their finances right now. Something is keeping them tied to that, whether it is a mindset or whether it is they really truly feel that's what they want to do. And maybe they weren't on the same page. Their effort, you know, the effort, uh, you know, to put to ground something, this reduces to a four to ground and be something stable was not because they, uh, uh, it's because that they had chose another route to take at that time. Okay, so that's about putting in the effort. Let's take a look at uh, what does the uh, love oracle want to say about this? Take a look. What do we have? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, wow. And I feel that you were the one. I feel that you really could have been the one. And that, uh, that you, they came across the one and they were focusing on their finances at the time and putting that into play. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the timing can be off. So it could have been the case with both of you here. Um, and Taurus, you might have a real strong attraction for this person as well. Um, uh, this could be the one is what's coming through here. So 
uh, they feel that, that maybe you're the one and that's why they're probably focusing so much on finances. They want to have something solid to give you and to provide for you because uh, they see you as being very valuable, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it, it could be the case. Wow. But they've been trying, they really want something solid. Um, so you guys, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to an extended and what we're going to find out is what they haven't told you. Uh, a little bit more about um, what they want most from you. Same thing on your side. Messages from both sides as well. What they like and dislike in, in you as well. Um, you know, in terms of the qualities within each other on how you can grow and and how you uh, and, and things like that. Not that you need to change for someone what they like and dislike. That's not the case for doing that. It's really just so you have an idea of what they really love about you, and and uh, and, and and just to kind of get to know how to work with the person. You know, it, it's all about communication. And then also we'll find out what it is that they, um, you know, a potential outcome with some advice. So if you're interested in taking that deep dive, guys, join me on the other side. I have a link in the description box below. If not, smash that like button, guys. Let me know if this resonates with you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, namaste.